Alright, let's finish Dungeon 6. Okay, so head right. Toss the bottom of the yellow. Getting towards the crack block. supposed to do that. block to do it too, okay. Oops. Oh, you're telling me I still have time it. to do that. Tidying it perfectly so it explodes on the block instead of falling down the hole. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, so. One, one and a half. Oops. One, two. One, one and a half. One, two? One, two. for so long until I get it. How many bombs did we waste? Thank goodness for the rewind. Oh boy. This is this is gonna be one of those things. Okay, I was able to time it by looking at Link's feet. I was like, how many footsteps? I should have done that from the beginning. I got a mermaid suit. What? With this, Link can swim faster into the deepest of waters, even those in the ocean. No way. Oh, you can even use items still. Okay, so what do we do now? Head back to the left, then step into the portal. Okay. Let's collect things first. Ooh, nice. Rupees. I almost have a thousand. I'm actually kind of proud of myself for that. Alright, from the entrance, head right one screen. Explode all the candles.
Unlocking the doorway to the right. Okay. Have the rock's feather ready. Those two giant blade traps will come at length through the passage. At the end, head through the locked through the locked doorway on the northern wall. Okay. Well, that was actually kind of scary. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Up one screen. Okay, cool. Switch hook to the bases and across the northern ledge. Then head right. Open the chest. What do we get? Compass. Present. Oh, there's a present and a past compass. If you require the compass, jump off the edge. Let's actually do that before the heart disappears this time. Okay, so jump off the edge. Take the staircase into a dungeon below. For the dungeon, simply head up a screen and right three screens. Okay. Or a tumbler. We tumbled. Okay, cool. So we did that. Head down the steps across the path. Oh, down the steps we were supposed to do. Well, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, it's fine. We'll make a save state just in case we like accidentally soft block or something. Ah, oh, this is the owl room. Oh, we were apparently able to open that chest. Okay. So we went over to the owl room. One causing ropes to fall throughout the room or making a chest appear. Which lever is correct will always be random, so pull one until the chest appears. Oh, when they say ropes, they mean the annoying things. Uh, I have to murder all of them first? Okay. That's really annoying. Alright, so we found the boss key. Head back down one and right one. And one of these pushable. Okay, so. Da -da 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 -da, down one, right one, then take the staircase back down to the dungeon area. Navigate left one screen until reaching some place that's too high to jump, and then you're gonna cane it. Okay.
Heck yeah. Okay, I just wanted to check what that was. Oh, we need this area that we need to cane. Okay. So take the ladder back up. Enter the water, swim left to. Okay. I have to use the D pad for this, that's funny. What did I just do? Okay. Head down to an exit in the dungeon. Why are we exiting? Just outside the dungeon, dive into the deep water on the left. Okay. Oh, no way. Interesting. Ah, we're full. We're good. Play the tune of Echoes. Now we go back to the past. Just had a good idea. I got a ring though, so I'm fine with losing some rupees <laughs> and other stuff. Alright, so we went back to the past. Oh yeah, I have to constantly click now, that's so weird. Re-enter, head right, two screens. Feed all the candle heads. I do not have many seeds, so I'm gonna have to hopefully get some. That's okay, we'll get more seeds. 
We just gotta make sure not to miss a candle head. I'll take the damage, it's fine. Alright, so we beat the candle heads. Walk right one screen, and oh, and now we can dive in the deep water. Okay. I'm seeing it now. Okay, cool. So I am supposed to be here. There's stuff over here. Swim left. Oh, swim left one and take the lower path. Yeah, we did that. Swim down until the end of the path to an underwater dungeon area. Swim right one, then up, up, out. I'm pressing the D-pad so hard, you have no idea. Oh, those are pits. Okay, there's nothing in this room. Or is there, oh, there is something in this room. Oh, great. Okay. Link can only use the weapon equipped the A button, wander water, defeat both of the ropes. Okay. I love that they call the snakes the ropes. This room is going to murder me. All I had to do was beat them. You're kidding me. Okay. That was way easier than I thought it would. Okay, so... We got the small key, head back down one and right one. So down one, right one, and then, and back down the staircase. Jeez. Swim left one up and out of the dungeon area. Okay. Okay, so we did that. We did that. Okay, so it wants us to resurface. What's over here? Stuff. I like stuff.
Okay, so swim left and then down. Swim left one and then down. Then continue left two screens. Oh, I'm just going back to the entrance. Okay. And then head up two and left one. Up one. Oh, you bastard. Up two. Up two, and then left one. Yeah, that's what we did. And as before, place a block on the right for the chain of Samaria. Oh, joy. That was the wrong one. Ah, and you don't even have to break them to get stuff. That's neat. I thought you did. Okay, so we unlock the doorway, blast through the correct blocks to reach the top half of the room, and head through the passage. Oh boy, we really need help. Okay, so we got there. Walk around the path through the platform twice more until it turns Link to the right. Okay. Head over the deep waters on the left side and dive down to the basement level. Oops. I was not supposed to open that door yet. Okay. Head up one screen through the leftmost passage. Went to a chest containing 30 rupees. I don't care about that. Swim right past the arrows. Ah, yeah, fuck it. I'm just gonna do things. Yeah, fuck it, we'll just take the damage. Okay, so what are we supposed to do here? We're supposed to... 
get each diamond shown stone on, a, on the thing with the hook shot. That should be easy. I don't even think I need a guide for that. I love that the Twitch viewership for this has like completely died, but the YouTube viewership is like growing. So to all my YouTube people, they're keeping it alive. But otherwise, I probably would have stopped playing it by this point. This game, it's like so close to being great for me, but then the problems I have with it are just too much. See, this is a puzzle that's actually fun. This is just gonna be a fair key. It's gonna be a fair freaking key. Alright, I'm saying the small key. Left, down, left. Left. Wow, I avoided that amazing. <laughs> Down. Left. And then down again. Went to the blue tiles and resurfaced. Okay. I left the locked door. Unblock the block on the left. Unlock the block on the left, okay. Okay, we did that. Step on and off the button. Okay. Oh, and then... Pea Shooter. Shoot a seed. Of the sea shooter stands so Lincoln aim at the second to last vertical red block on the left. Oh shit. Here we go. Dungeon boss, Octogon. Swim to the middle of the room, and he will swim around the middle platform. I'll often turn his face towards Link to shoot a rock at him. When he does, hit him with the seed shooter. So hit him with the seed shooter. Occasionally, he'll submerge, and I can dive under and shoot at him below. Okay, so we just have to beat him with the seed shooter. We're gonna have a root and toot and hoe down. I'm 
I'm shooting him. Am I not doing damage to him? Oh, when it turns its face towards me to shoot a rock, I have to see the shooter. Let's try this again. Yeah, I'm not good at this. How am I not doing this correctly? I thought all I have to do is shoot in its mouth, right? Let's try, like, way back from the beginning. Oh, it's the other side. It's the booty side. Come on, show me your booty, your your booty mouth. God, that's a we that's a clip that's on the internet now. Why can't I just hit- why? Why can't I hit this thing? Now I'm finally doing a bunch of damage to it. Oh, fuck me, dude. I hate this. This boss is probably the most annoying one I've had to deal with so far. No, I didn't fucking mean to shoot a second one. 
didn't mean to shoot over there either. Now I did, but I still missed. seeds does this thing take? This is just cruel. I would see me playing this as a kid and just being like, I really don't like this game. That was it. That was it. That was the boss. That was okay. Like the dumbest boss. You got know, the Burfett Peak, an essence of time. It is a proud, lonely spirit that remains stalwart even in trying times. This is my sixth essence. That means I have two more to go. Blorp. I probably named herself Blorp. Oh my gosh, Blorp, I have great news. Queen Ambi has just left the palace. Now is your chance. This may be your only chance to save Nehru. So we're going to go ahead and save right here because I think this is all the Zelda I can handle right now for this game. I still like it, but it is getting more challenging to get through. But we're going to keep it up for now. If you want to see more, let me know down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.